This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the Omega Gun Lock designed for 22 caliber revolvers. Now, some of you may recall that I recently featured another Omega Gun Lock, and that was the one designed for 45 caliber semi automatic handguns. And shortly after posting that video, I received an email from someone suggesting that. I had stacked the deck in my favor, that by picking the 45 caliber version, which is the largest version made by Omega Lock, I allowed myself the most room to fit an improvised tool down the barrel and open it up. And there was some merit to that. The, the 45 caliber is the largest version, and it does allow for the most room to fit an improvised tool down the barrel. And in that case, I had used a Bic pen to open it up. And this Bic pen certainly would not fit down a 22 caliber barrel. It will, however, fit down the 40 caliber version and the 9 millimeter version in addition to the 45. So what I did was I picked up the smallest caliber version that Omega Lock offered to see if I could figure an improvised solution to it. And since I was buying a new one, I figured I would get the revolver version since it is materially different from the semi-automatic handgun. Now on the semi-automatic handgun, the internal lock is shaped like a handgun cartridge. Not so with the revolver version. The revolver version is just a long bar, and what it's designed to do is be dropped right down the barrel, and when fully seated, it will be partly in the revolver cylinder and partly in the barrel. Then you would reach down the barrel with the provided wrench, tighten that little silver nut, which in turn expands this little rubber collar. That's what locks this into place, and once it's locked into place, you can't turn the cylinder. That means you can't load the gun, and you can't fire the gun. So I'm going to demonstrate all of that for you, and we're going to see if we can find an improvised solution for opening up this 22 caliber version. And the gun we're going to be demonstrating it on is probably the coolest 22 caliber revolver I have ever seen in my life. And that's this right here, which looks like a large hunting knife, but in fact, it is a cleverly disguised revolver. On the belly of the grip, there's this small switch that once you flip it around, a trigger is deployed from the bottom of the barrel, and when you press this down, the gun will fire a bullet out of the end of the barrel, which is right here. And you can keep pressing that trigger, and the gun will keep firing until this revolver cylinder is depleted. I think it's a really cool little piece, great conversation starter, and one I picked up mostly as a collector's piece. So let's see if we can lock this guy up. I'll take our Omega lock, drop it right down the barrel, and let's see, flipping this cylinder, I can feel it can't be turned, which means we are fully seated. Now let's get our, our special wrench, and we're going to push this down the barrel, and uh-oh, it won't go in all the way because of the large knife. So I need an improvised solution not only to unlock this, but also to lock it on this particularly unusual gun. And I have to say, it was a lot harder finding an improvised solution for the 22 caliber version. That barrel is really, really tiny, and fitting something down there is not particularly easy. What I did come up with was this. I got a piece of a coat hanger and slipped on the tip a little metal roll pin that happened to slide over the piece of coat hanger and fits snugly on that little silver notch on the end of the Omega lock. So let's stick this down there and hopefully we will be able to lock it up. Okay, I think we've got it locked up. Let's uh, test it out. Nope, it's not gonna fall out anymore. And now we can see when we press this, nothing happens because that cylinder is locked up. So 
Let's see if we can open it up now using our improvised tool again. And I think that should be enough. Let's see if we can drop it out. Yep. And once again, that revolver cylinder is free to rotate and the gun can be loaded and fired again. So I think a really interesting little lock here. Um, I have to say I am torn on how I feel about this. It is materially harder than the larger Omega locks to defeat through improvised means, but it can be done. And if you have a teen or adolescent who really wants to get to a, a gun, I don't think putting something like this together or finding some other improvised solution would be beyond their ingenuity. I know it certainly would not have been beyond mine when I was a 12 year old. So I'll leave it up to you what you think of this lock. It's certainly not one that I would categorically say is bad as I have for, for many others but it's also probably not ideal. So that's all I have for you on this Omega gun lock designed for 22 caliber revolvers. If you do have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.